that one up quickly there after. Yeah, I mean, that's what they do. I mean, they're going to run the football, and they're happy to get two yards because they're just going to keep running the football. But then they have the best receiver in the FCS that they can throw deep to, and he got behind us, made a great catch. I mean, it's windy out, ran under it, does what he does, the reason he's an All-American, and makes a play that jumps on us. But, you know, for us, I, I, I felt like – you know, we've been emphasizing guys making plays, making the 50-50 catches. And, you know, if there's a if there's a positive out of it, seeing some guys make some plays there in the second half. Yeah, Coach, talk about that. It seemed like you guys, uh, you know, got things going a little bit, a little bit of a spark on back to those back-to-back scoring drives. Mm-hmm. What, did you, what did you like there and what did you see that maybe was different from that first half? Just guys making plays. Every game, there's going to be opportunities where the ball's in the air and to see a C.J. Charleston, again, said it. I I believe in our guys. I believe they can make those plays downfield and to be able to see that in a game, you know, moving forward, I I feel very good about those kids and what they can do downfield. Obviously not the way you wanted to close out the home portion of the schedule. You have one more remaining. You know, what are you kind of telling your guys with one game left of all I'm going to study this tape. We're going to get better. We're going to get back to work. You know, going into the game, we said the journey, the journey is the destination. There's no destination right now. We're on a journey and we got to get better and we got to get ready for a good Southern Illinois team. So we're going to get back to work. We're going to be as consistent as we can be in what we do week in and week out preparation wise. And, you know, execution, you know, from last Saturday, this Saturday, probably last Saturday, I was more sick. I am coming off here because, again, they, they just beat us in the ground today. Coach, two of our quarterbacks squeak out today. Mm-hmm. That was probably in 10 years the first time I've ever seen that happen. Mm-hmm. How did you, you know, get the other next guy up ready? Hey, we, we prepare a lot of quarterbacks to come to practice. You know, we, we, we do have a, you know, I always say a, a lot of quarterbacks in our room that have prepared. You know, so for us to go back to Joe Craycraft, you know, that was an easy – Joe sits in those meetings, reps in practice. So, for him to go in as a senior too, play in front of home crowd uh, for the very last time, I, you know, had that opportunity. And Mitch could have went back in there at the end, but we said, you know, be, let Joe stay in there. So. Yes, sir. You guys really started passing the ball a lot more this week, especially compared to last week or two weeks ago. Was that part of the game plan going in or was it, you know, the fact that you had a lot of confidence or you felt comfortable with either Demetrius Bowman or Joe, whoever was going to play this game? Well, a lot of it goes based on the team you're playing. And, you know, if you look at that defense, they got eight seniors that have played a lot of football games. I bet a lot of those kids have played 40 to 50 plus. I know they had an offensive lineman make his 61st start. You know, so when you're playing against a senior laden team and think you're just going to line up and just run the football, you're not. You're going to have to pass. But you saw in the first half, we had too many sacks. You want to pass football, we also, it starts with protection, you know? So you got to be able to protect the quarterback. Then you got to be able to make the plays downfield. So coming in the game, we always work on the passing. It don't change one week to the next. We're going to pass as much in practice as we passed the last week going into games. And then you let the game dictate. If you're running the football, and running it effectively, and you can tie in some play action pass and move the ball downfield, you do that. There's times too where there's, you know, there's stuff in the run and you got to get the ball downfield, but it all starts with the protection. The one thing I was happy about in the second half, we adjusted and was able to protect the quarterback a little bit better than what we did in the first half. Coach, with that being said, you know, Mitch is no stranger to coming in now as the mm-hmm. season has proven. You know, he made some plays again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'm very confident in what Mitch can do in throwing the football. We, we see it each and every day. Uh, you know, what people, you know, number 10, what he brings is he brings your running game because defenses change how they defend because he can run the football. So if they got to defend the quarterback, it opens more lanes up for number eight and number 20 to run the football. 
So again, both quarterbacks bring different styles. Uh, Demetri gives you the ability to get the run game going and also to get the ball. I think even when he was in, uh, you know, uh, he was five of eight for 56 yards and, you know, had some scrambles. But again, confident in both those young men. Mitch coming in and being able to throw the ball downfield. He, he's proven that. We know that. And, you know, right now, you know, depending on, you know, the status of Demetri, confident that Demetri cannot go, Mitch can. And is that the only update, update you can provide at this time, Coach Alexander, things are kind of yeah, again, came on the second half. And the one thing we won't do is put Demetri in a situation where he can't be successful. And he's successful because of his legs. You know, that's what makes him who he is. And I do believe he has a strong arm and, and, and can throw the football. But if he don't have that mobility to help you in the run game and also to avoid pressure, you know, again, when you can move a little bit too as a quarterback, you can avoid a lot of the pressure that's coming to you which he had to do in the first half. I think that was one play where he got injured. As far as the run defense goes, uh, when you guys not getting the run assists or you having trouble matching physicality, you, know? you know, went in with a very simple game plan. And again, when you play these guys, you know what they're going to do. They're not going to – they're going to come downhill. They're going to run off tackle power, and they're going to run inside zone. So, you know, for us, we got to fit our gaps. And anytime you saw that – there was a breakthrough. It was either a misfit or it was a missed tackle. So it wasn't great run defense today. Uh, I know our defense, I thought, played their best football game a week ago. And again, we'll get back to work, but it, it, you know, tried to go in with a simple game plan so they can line up, play fast, and play violent each and every play. And again, there's times where you stuff them, but those ones that just kind of sneaked out when a wall was built, you know, those are the ones that hurt. Uh, you had a, an update on Quincy Lenton. I just saw Quincy in the locker room do, doing fine. So.